of truly large numbers. It has an epigraph from Percy Diaconus and Frederick Mulsteller, an essay they wrote called Methods for Studying Coincidences. And the quote is, with a large enough sample, any outrageous thing is likely to happen. And so what they're talking about is, for instance, if you have a, a study group of 100 and you see that an event occurs uh, 1% of the time, every once in 100. Well, that's just one, that's a small group. But if that group is uh, 10 million and the same event occurs one in 100, that event occurs much more frequently. So um, this is uh, sort of the changing nature of things as we become a more populated planet. The most outrageous things are likely to happen, statistically speaking. So I call the poem the law of truly large numbers. This is how it goes. Earth is so heavy with people, my love. We've doubled our numbers since my arrival. You can still fit 20 humans into a Volkswagen Beetle, but I worry, will there be enough seat belts for our four children? What if civilization bottoms out backing down our driveway? Or you can populate two New York cities with people that share your birthday. Isn't that and that and that a coincidence? A miracle might strike at any moment. Everything rare is well done. Everyone compares their lottery winnings. So long religion, down the road, rabbit's foot. But even in a world of colossal, humongous, truly superb, blip-sized numbers, my love, we're exactly two people. And when we sleep, despite what my snoring might suggest, I am only one man. And of that night I proposed with Chablis and pawn shop diamond beneath the walnut tree, and you said yes, I'll say this. Quantity only betters the structure of affection, the architecture of surprise. As when you step from the shower and, and search for your towel, even though I've hidden it for the millionth time, so that I might behold you searching for your towel until finally you ask, hey, have you seen my towel? At which point I jump to the rescue with dry, fluffy, wondrous towels worthy of Nefertiti. And the whole morning smells like sweet pea and violet body wash, lavender and citrus anti-frizz conditioner. And this is only the first hour of the day. I'm one timeline away from figuring out when the odds kicked in, how I found you. It's so crowded, my love, and we've all been mistaken for someone else with the same first name and a one digit difference in our social security numbers. If only we could hold a truly large mirror up to Earth, we could at least gain the illusion of spaciousness. This would also solve the problem of surveillance. Everybody making love outside, looking up at themselves, making love in the sky.